All right, everybody. So this is what our random shepherd chooses to wear for now. What I'm probably going to do is um, I think before every mission, uh, or at least almost every mission, like I'm going to flip a coin, like in between missions, basically, whether she's going to change or she's not. And uh, then we'll have more opportunities for more random looks throughout the game. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So, But right, right now, this is the outfit. It's very random, does not match at all. And yeah, that's basically what I'm going for. So here we go. Got to talk to the Lucifer Man. Shepherd. Elusive man. I thought we'd be meeting face to face. Unnecessary precaution. Not unusual for people who know what you and I know. What exactly is it that you and I know? That our place in the universe is more fragile than we'd like to think. That one woman, one very specific woman, might be all that stands between humanity and the greatest threat of our brief existence. The Reapers. Good to see your memory still intact. How are you feeling? You need to earn the right to ask me those kinds of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as you believe. You and I are on the same side. We just have different methods. Cut to the chase. What are the Reapers doing that made you decide to bring me back? We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. While you've been sleeping, entire colonies have been disappearing. Human colonies. We believe it's someone working for the Reapers, just as Saren and the Geth aided Sovereign. You've seen it yourself. You bested all of them. That's just one reason we chose you. You chose me. If what you say is true, that the Reapers are behind this, I'd consider helping you. I'd be disappointed if you accepted any of this without seeing for yourself. I have a shuttle ready to take you to Freedom's Progress, the latest colony to be abducted. Miranda and Jacob will brief you. I'll get what you're looking for and be back before you know it. Good to hear it. Find any clues you can. Who's abducting the colonies? Do they have any connection to the Reapers? I brought you back. It's up to you to do the rest. Fits in with her uh, back or backstory. That's <laughs> such a weird color. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it looks like our audio is uh, like slightly. Decent. Uh, this is usually a problem I have with Mass Effect 2, and I cannot for the life of me find a fix for it. Um, even when I downloaded the unofficial community patch uh, for Mass Effect 2, like the mod, that's uh, a mod, it, it seems like I still have audio issues. I really don't know how to fix it, so if anybody can tell me how to fix it, I'd be glad to, to try it. Um, yeah, I've always had this problem with Mass Effect 2. Mass Effect 3 is somewhat the same. It's a little bit better. Mass Effect 1, I have no issues at all. I, I, it's really just 2 that I have a lot of issues with audio, so it's very strange. Stop right there! Rosa, you said you'd let me handle this. Wait, Shepard? I'm not taking any chances with trouble Put those weapons down! Shepard? Is that... you're alive? Tally Zora, you served on my ship. You know what I'd do to people who threaten me. <laughs> Praza, tell your team to put their weapons away. Damn it, Tally, this is bullshit. Why would your own commander work for Cerberus? I don't know, but if this is Shepard, I don't know. Shepard would have a reason. 
I know Cerberus has a bad past, but they're the only group investigating these missing colonies. The Council turned its back on humanity. I haven't. Tally, you aren't seriously considering trusting Cerberus? I'm not trusting anyone, Traza. But we're going to need help, sir. One of our people was here on pilgrimage. His name was Vitor. We came to find him. Isn't that a little strange? A Quarian visiting a remote human colony? Quarians can choose where they go on pilgrimage. Vitor liked the idea of helping a small settlement. He was always nervous in crowds. She means that he was unstable. Combine that with damage to his suit CO2 scrubbers and an infection from an open-air exposure, and he's likely delirious. When he saw us landing, he hid in a warehouse on the far side of town. We suspect he also programmed the mechs to attack anything that moved. Mm-hmm. You should head back to your ship, Tally. We'll let you know when we find Vitor. Like hell. I'm not letting Cerberus take over. Neither am I don't want to fight you, Shepard. But I can't just let Cerberus handle this. Besides, we need to work together. Head for the warehouse through the center of the colony. We'll circle around the far side and draw off some of the drones to clear you a path. Make sure to keep in radio contact. Will do. Good luck, Shepard. See you on the far side. Monsters coming back. Mechs will protect. Safe from swarms. Have to hide. No monsters. No swarms. No, 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 no. Vitor? No, Vitor. Not here. Swarms can't find. Monsters coming. Have to hide. Nobody's going to hurt you anymore. I don't think he can hear you, Commander. All right, so I flipped Next a coin for this. I'm actually going to do the coming. renegade storm action coming. here storm of um, beforehand. No escape. No hope. Can't hide forever. Monsters will find you. Swarms will find you. Vitor, I'm here to protect you. I won't let the monsters get you, I promise. Have to hide. Have to hide. Mechs will protect. Swarms coming. Okay, Storm well, coming. Uh, I might have swarms. to pick the renegade no thing escape. here next go around. Can't I didn't realize that you could get stuck Monsters here. Will find you. Swarms will okay, find you. I'm just going to do that. Listen, through. Vitor, I didn't come to this godforsaken colony to listen to you babble. Snap out of it. Swarms coming. Storm coming. Storm of swarms. Mechs. You're not one of them. You're human. They... they didn't find you? Who didn't find us? The... the monsters. The swarms. Hello, cat. They took everyone. My cat is saying hello at a weird time. We're not survivors, Vitor. We just got here. You don't know. You didn't see. But I see everything. Looks like security footage. He must have pieced it together manually. What the hell is that? My god. I think it's a collector. Um. Let me do this real quick. Is that some kind of alien? There are species from somewhere beyond the Omega 4 relay. Only a few people have ever seen one in person. They usually work through intermediaries, like slavers or hired mercenaries. If they're involved with the Reapers somehow, it could explain what happened to the colonies. The Collectors have advanced technology. They could have a weapon that disables an entire settlement at once. The Seeker swarms. No one can hide. The Seekers find you, freeze you. Then the monsters take you away. What happened next? The monsters took the people onto the ship, and then they left. The ship flew away. But they'll be back for me. No one is... I think that's probably all we're getting out of them, Commander.
We appreciate what you told us. You were very helpful. I studied them. The monsters. The swarms. I recorded them with my Omni tool. Lots of readings. Electromagnetic. Dark energy. We need to get this data to the elusive man. Grab the quarry and call the shuttle to come pick us up. What? Vitor is injured. He needs treatment, not an interrogation. We won't hurt him. We just need to see if he knows anything else. He'll be returned. Your people tried to betray us once already. If we give him to you, we'll never get the intel we need. Prada was an idiot, and he and his men paid for it. You're welcome to take Vitor's Omnitool data, but please, just let me take him. Uh, so we got three options here. He's traumatized, and he needs medical care. Tally will give us the Omnitool data and take him to the flotilla. Understood, Commander. Thank you, Shepard. I'm glad you're still the one giving the... Good luck out there. If I find anything that can help you, I'll let you know. We're ready for pickup. Shepard, good work on Freedom's progress. The Quarians forwarded their findings from Vidor's debriefing. No new data, but it's a surprising olive branch given our history. You and I have different methods, but I can't argue with your results. The data from his Omni tool should be quite useful. We're still analyzing. But more importantly, you confirm the collectors are behind the abductions. Why do I get the feeling you knew about them already? I had my suspicions, but I needed proof. The Collectors are enigmatic at best. They periodically travel to the Terminus systems, looking to gather seemingly unimportant items or specimens, usually in exchange for their technology. When their transactions are complete, they disappear as quickly as they arrived, back beyond the unmapped Omega-4 relay. Until now, we've had no evidence of direct aggression by the Collectors. Oh geez. Okay, so we have five options. It looks like. You're holding something back. How do you know the Reapers are involved? The patterns are there, buried in the data. The Council and the Alliance want to believe the Reaper threat died with Sovereign. You and I know better. I won't wait until the Reapers are on the march. We need to take the fight to them. If this is a war, I'll need an army, or a really good team. I've already compiled a list of soldiers, scientists, and mercenaries. You'll get dossiers on the best of them. Finding them and convincing them to work with you could be challenging. I'll continue to track the collectors. When they make their next appearance, I'll notify you and your team. Be ready. Keep your list. I want people I trust. The ones who helped me stop Saren and the Geth. That was two years ago, Commander. Most of them have moved on, or their allegiances have changed. Where's Caden Alenko? He's still with the Alliance. Promoted, I believe. His file is surprisingly well classified. What about Tally? She already helped us on Freedom's progress. That was unexpected. I need more intel before I'll commit to that. Where's Garrus Vicarian? The Turian disappeared a few months after you were declared dead. Even we haven't been able to locate him. Where's Liara Tissoni? She's on Ilium. My sources say that she's working for the Shadow Broker. If so, she can't be trusted. Okay, I get it. They're not available. You're a leader, Shepard. You'll get who you need. You worry about the collectors. I'll make sure my team's ready. Good. Two things before you go. First, head to Omega and find Morden Solis. He's a brilliant Solarian scientist. Our intelligence suggests he may know how to counteract the Collector's paralyzing Seeker Swarms. 
Sounds good. And what else? I found a pilot I think you might like. I hear he's one of the best. Someone you can trust. Hey, Commander. Just like old times, huh? I can't believe it's you, Joker. Look who's talking. I saw you get spaced. Got lucky, but a lot of strings attached. How'd you get here? It all fell apart without you, Commander. Everything you stirred up, the Council just wanted it gone. The team was broken up, record sealed, and I was The Alliance grounded. took away the one thing that mattered to me. Hell yeah, I joined Cerberus. You really trust the elusive man? Well, I don't trust anyone who makes more than I do. But they aren't all bad. Saved your life. Let me fly. And there's this. They only told me last night. It's good to be home, huh, Commander? I guess we'll have to give her a name. I will lag. Why is there no people in the, oh. Oh man, the lag is going crazy. Aboard the new Normandy, Commander. I've been looking over the dossiers. I'd strongly recommend starting by acquiring Morden Solus, the Solarian professor on Omega. We know the collectors use some type of advanced technology to immobilize their victims. We'll need him to develop a countermeasure to protect us. You still don't get it, do you? You're not in charge of this mission. I am. Operative Lawson makes a valid point, Shepard. Without the Professor, any encounter with the Collectors would result in failure. Who are you? I am the Normandy's artificial intelligence. The crew like to refer to me as Edie. Shut that thing down. I don't want it on my ship. Have I offended? Shepard spent a great deal of time fighting rogue AI. Geth, mostly. Plus that incident with the Alliance's Your distrust head. is logical, Shepard, unlike the irrational mistrust of most humans. However, I am no threat to you or anyone else. I observe and offer analysis and advice, nothing more. Now that we've got that sorted out, let's move on to these dossiers. Final preparations for takeoff are complete, Commander. When you're ready to go, just pick a destination from the galaxy map and the CIC and I'll plot a course. Jacob and I should return to our posts. Come find us if you have any questions. Commander Shepard, enter the password and receive a free gift. Please tell me your password, Commander Shepard.
silence is golden. Good to finally meet you, Commander Shepard. Kasumi Goto. I'm a fan. We got a lot of options here. We've got a spot set up for you on the Normandy. Make yourself at home. Looking forward to it. Haven't done this kind of thing before. Big mission, saving the galaxy. I'm really glad you're helping me out with the heist. Can't wait to see how you look in formal wear. Unless you're stealing something from the collectors, I'm not interested. This is part of my deal with Cerberus. Hear me out before you say no. I'm looking for my old partner's gray box. A man named Donovan Hawk took it, and I'm planning to get it back. That's what Cerberus promised you. We'll get it done. It'll be fun. And if we're lucky, you won't even have to draw your gun. We should probably wrap this up. You look pretty silly standing there talking to an advertisement. See you on the ship, Shepard. Okay, so basically... It's going to be a little bit different than Mass Effect 1. Essentially, if I agree to do the loyalty mission, I'm going to follow through. Like, uh, basically, that'll be the next thing I do is the loyalty mission. So, essentially, uh, since we agreed to Kasumi's loyalty mission to do it, I am going to go ahead and do the heist mission after we're done talking to Anderson and all that here. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's essentially my goal for the randomness, but obviously I can randomly decline to do the loyalty mission, and that just means we're not going to do it. So, that's essentially that. The people want to hear your story, Shepard. Police have been seen in Altalani, Westerly News. I interviewed you two years ago when you first became a Spectre. It was a highly rated piece about the Council using you to work against Alliance interests. Do you... What, so you can try to do another smear job on me? Now, Shepard, you may object to my methods, but we're on the same side. Your bad, your news. I just want to give your story its due. Sources claim you were at the heart of the Presidium during the Battle of the Citadel. It's fair to say the course of the battle hinged on you. If true, you told Admiral Hackett to assist the Destiny Ascension, costing hundreds of human lives, and securing the continued dominance of the Citadel Council. Oh, we have uh, four options here. Hold on, I'm going to make sure, because so, I'm pretty sure we're going to have another chance for another uh, Renegade action here. So I'm going to see if I do take the next, like, action thing. And the coin says no, I will not take the next action thing. Okay, let's see what we're going to decide here. The Turians lost 20 cruisers. Figure each had a crew of around 300. The Ascension, the Asari Dreadnought we saved, had a crew of nearly 10,000. But surely the human cost. The Alliance lost eight cruisers. Shen Yang, Emden, Jakarta. Cairo, Seoul, Cape Town, Warsaw, Madrid, and yes, I remember them all. Everyone in the Fifth Fleet is a hero. The Alliance owes them all medals. The Council owes them a lot more than that. And so do you. Commander Shepard, first human specter. Hero of the Battle of the Citadel. Chief Diggs, we get it? Great. Bull rushed on my own show. This meeting would be more productive if Udina was to join us. Counselor Udina isn't available, but as his top advisor, I speak with his full authority and approval. Shepard will be here and... Oh, Commander, we were just talking about you. You said you wanted to meet with me. I didn't realize they'd be here too. We've heard many rumors surrounding your unexpected return. Some of them are unsettling. We called this meeting so you could explain your actions, Shepard. We owe you that much. After all, you saved our lives in the battle against Saren and his Geth. The 
this council turned its back on me. You were reported dead, Commander. Then we heard you were working for Cerberus. Frankly, we were unsure which news was worse. We shouldn't be fighting. If we're going to stop the Reapers, we have to work together. Ah, yes, Reapers. <laughs> the immortal race of sentient starships allegedly waiting in dark space. Uh, we have dismissed that claim. Shepard, no one else encountered the hologram on Ilos that told you the truth about the Reapers. Only you and your crew ever spoke with someone. I believe you. But without evidence from another source, the others think Saren was behind the Geth attacks. I guess I'm on my own, again. We are in a difficult position, Shepard. You are working for Cerberus, an avowed enemy of the Council. This is treason, a capital offense. That's too far. Shepard is a hero. If Councilor Udina were here, he wouldn't let this whitewash continue. Maybe there is a compromise, not a public acknowledgement given your ties, but something to show peripheral support. Shepard, if you keep a low profile and restrict your operations to the Terminus systems, the Council is willing to offer you reinstatement as a spec. What does that mean? Will I need to start filing reports? That won't be necessary. This is a show of good faith on our part. We cannot become involved in an investigation regarding the missing colonies in the Terminus systems. But Spectre reinstatement shows our support of you personally. Take your offer and cram it up your ass. I didn't need your help to stop Sovereign and I don't need it now. We've tried to be reasonable. A tactic that has been misplaced. If your actions become a threat to the security of Council Space, we will take action. Watch your step, Shepard. You've been warned. Well, that didn't go as well as I had hoped. I appreciate the effort, but bureaucrats aren't going to stop the Reapers. True enough. Don't worry about the Council or the Alliance. I'll find some way to keep them off your back. Shouldn't be too hard, as long as you keep to the Terminus systems. Anderson, we need to talk about... Shepard, what are you doing here? I got a long list of people I didn't want to see, and your name is right at the top. Hmm. The feeling is mutual, believe me. Your return is a bureaucratic nightmare for I us. I invited Shepard here to speak with the Council. We just finished our meeting. You went to the Council behind my back. Do the words political shitstorm mean anything to you? This is a nightmare right now. I'm here because the fate of humanity is at stake. That's what you should care about. All you soldiers think alike. You charge headfirst into a problem with no regard for the long-term consequence. This is all on you, Anderson. You're done here. Understand? Finished. <laughs> what an ass. <laughs> the way you walked away. I didn't mean to get you into Don't trouble. Don't worry about it. Once Udina cools off, he'll realize he has to keep me around. Besides, the Council won't have any official records of our meeting, and they won't want to go public with the result. If I get fired, people will ask questions. So he'll keep me on and just sweep this whole mess under the rug. How've the last couple years treated you? Working for Udina isn't how I plan to spend my twilight years. Sometimes it feels like I'm just beating my head against a wall. Knowing the truth about Sovereign is brutal. It's nightmare stuff. I can't blame others for not wanting to believe it, but I know how important it is. So I keep trying. Fighting the good fight, right? Guess we're not gonna do the investigate route. Forget Udina and the council. Join my crew and help me stop the collectors. 
I'm too old to go racing across the galaxy. Much as I complain, I've got an important job to do here. The front line, that's got to be yours. I better go. Of course, Shepard, I understand. I wish I could do more to help you. But if you ever want to talk, I'll be here. Just do me a favor and be careful. You can't <laughs> trust Cerberus. The idle animation just has her elbow him in the face. All right, everybody. Well, I think that's going to be all I have for this session. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. We're just getting started on Aspect 2. Um, definitely lots of random randomness to come. Um, I've certainly enjoyed it. It's going to be really interesting once we really start getting into things. Um, so next time, we'll definitely do Kasumi's uh, loyalty mission and then pick our next objective. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you later.